Next, a thin film of acetone, uh, n equal to 1.25. All right, uh, you see, this is another thin film question. All right, this is another thin film question. So, determine uh, this is a thin film question. All right. Uh, and this is the thin film refractive index. Okay, this. So did we got the. Okay, write this as the refractive index for the film. Uh, okay, don't use the wrong refractive index. Here you have another refractive index for the glass. Uh, this is for the glass, but we don't use this one. We use we use refractive index for the film. Uh, yeah. Later in the formula, substitute one point two five. Not substitute. Not substitute 1.50. Only use the refractive index for film. Not use the refractive index for lens, for glass. Okay? Use the refractive index for film. Or sometimes he write as coat. Uh, refractive index for the coat, coating. Uh, for the coating. Yeah? The protective layer. The protective layer. The thin film. The coating. Uh, use, that, use that value. Uh. To substitute, not not use the refractive index for glass. Okay, I uh, see. He he mentioned the word coats. Uh, this thin film coats. Uh, because it's like a protective layer. Protective layer. Yeah, coats. Uh, is the uh, film coats the plate glass plate? Not the glass plate coats the film. Uh, later when you draw the diagram, also must draw correctly. Yeah, it is the thin film that. Protect the glass plate, not the glass plate protect the acetone. So you you need to draw out the, the three layer. Yeah, first you must draw the three layer because ultimately we want to know about the we want to compare the refractive index, whether it's low, high, low, or low, high, highest. And from there we can know the phase change. Uh, phase change for one wave or wave phase change for two wave. Uh, so uh, if phase change for one wave become anti-phase, if phase change for two wave, it become in phase. Uh, yeah. From there, we can know whether in phase or anti phase. From from in phase or anti phase, we can know the formula. Uh, is it the uh, is it in phase or anti phase? So from there, we can know uh, the bright fringe and dark fringe formula. Understand or not? That's why it's, it all start from drawing the diagram. So drawing the diagram is important. Like this one, he say is the acetone coats the the thick place gla glass, uh, the the thick glass plate. So uh. Uh, you start from air. The first layer normally is air. Air and then uh, who protect who protect who? Uh, is the coat. Uh, the acetone coat or the thin film protect the glass plate. So you should draw you should draw the acetone coat in the middle, not the acetone coat at the bottom. Yeah? Uh, not the, the other way around. Huh? Some people draw like this. Yeah, some people draw like this. Air, uh, glass plate. Uh, glass plate and then at the bottom is the coat or the film uh, which is illogical which is wrong understand or not uh, terbalik yeah, is uh, in, uh, inverted already uh, how can the glass plate how can the glass plate protect the coat it should be the coat protect the glass plate the coat should be on top uh, coat should be in the middle uh, glass plate should be at the most bottom understand or not uh, okay, draw must draw correctly. Uh, so, uh, acetone at the middle and then glass plate at the bottom. Okay, so uh, then uh, once you got the three layer, then you write down the refractive index. Uh, the air is one, air normally is one. Then acetone code refractive index is 1.25. Uh, this is the value we're going to use. Uh, we're going to use this value only for our calculation. Uh, and then in the end, the glass plate is 1.50. Uh, we don't use this one. Lah. Don't go to use this formula, this value 1.50 to substitute into the into the 2NT here. Understand? The N over here is the flum. Huh? The 2NT, this this one is all about the flum. Uh, reflect the, the about the flum or the coat. Yeah? The refractive in use the refractive index for the coat for the flum. And use the thickness, use the thickness of the coat of the film. Understand or not? Uh, use the, the, this thickness, uh, this thickness, this thickness, uh, not the thickness of the glass. Okay? It's the thickness of the coat. Okay? Normally it's very thin only, this film. Okay, so now uh, once we draw already, uh, we can, uh, it's about a thin film questions. So, where, is this in phase or anti phase? 
Uh, once you got the three layer air acetone coat and glass plate, uh, then we can determine. Uh, and then we write down the refractive index 1, 1 1.25 and 1.50. So the sequence is uh, we compare yeah? low, high, highest. Uh, 1.5 is the highest. Okay. Uh, so for the first ray, let's look at the first ray. The first ray, and then we look at second ray. Okay, let's look at the first ray. First ray uh, is reflection from low to higher refractive index. Uh, low to high. Yeah, again, like this one. Uh, phase change happen during reflection from low to high. Low to reflection. Low to high refractive index. Not high to low. It's low to high. Uh, it's like it, it meets a, a hard surface. Yeah, rather than a soft surface. Uh, so it means a hard surface. Uh, from air to the cold, is a, this one is a hard surface. From low to high refractive index. Uh, so this uh, the first ray got phase change because it's reflection from low to high refractive index. Uh, so this one, the first ray got phase change, pi radian. Okay? And then the second ray. Uh, second ray go into no phase change but it reflect or oh, it reflect from uh, low to high also. Uh, we compare the coat acetone coat with the glass plate. Glass plate has even higher refractive index. One point two five go to one point five from low to high refractive index. So this reflection got phase change. Uh, so wave two also got phase change. So we can say both wave got phase change. When both wave got phase change means they are equal. Uh, they cancel, uh, they, uh, both waves got phase change, they are equal, so they are in phase. Uh, so pi minus pi is zero. So in between the two waves, the phase difference is zero radian. Zero radian means in phase. Lah. Uh, that means, okay, so what I can summarize is, last time we uh, learned another example, another example question. If only one, if only one of the wave got phase change, uh, if only one wave only got phase change, then the, the two waves become empty phase. If both waves got phase change, if both waves got phase change, they become in phase. Okay? Uh, I can maybe I can summarize over here. Maybe write let me write it down. If only if only one wave uh, has uh, yeah pi radian phase change has phase change uh, then the two wave become anti phase yeah become anti phase if uh, both wave uh, if uh, both or we can say two waves also got a uh, phase change uh, then they become in phase both wave become in phase can you understand uh, if only one wave, only one wave got, got phase change, it becomes anti phase. Or when on, only one wave, only one wave got phase change, it becomes anti phase. If both waves got phase change, they are equal, they are in phase. Uh, they become equal. Okay? Both waves got phase change, they are in phase. What can? Uh, this is important. Uh, after that, we can know uh, anti phase use what kind of formula? In phase use what kind of formula? Uh, like this one. This one both wave both wave got phase change means they become uh, in phase. Okay, both wave got phase change, so that's why it become in phase. So in phase formula is how. In phase formula is how. Uh, uh, in phase formula is this one lah. You see that? Uh, in phase formula, uh, yeah, not this one anymore. Not the below one anymore. Use the top one. Uh, use not the below one anymore. Yeah, use the top one in phase. Uh, so if in phase one, okay, if in phase bright fringe is m lambda, dark fringe is m plus half lambda. We can just imagine like this. In phase means it's like normal. Uh, this one is like normal lah. If anti phase, uh, things become abnormal, become uh, to totally different, yeah, totally opposite. Uh, nah? this one is normal. This one is not normal. Yeah, not normal. Anti phase is not normal, in phase is normal. Yeah? In phase, bright fringe is m lambda, dark fringe is m plus half lambda. Okay? In phase, bright fringe is m lambda, dark fringe is m plus half lambda. 
Okay, yeah, so just write it down. So we know this is about the case for in phase. So we can know already, once we know in phase or anti phase, we can know the formula for bright fringe and dark fringe. So this one is in phase. In phase means the path difference delta L need to use uh, in phase, bright fringe. In phase, in phase, bright fringe is M lambda. Uh, you see, this is how I remember the formula. I don't memorize. Uh, for in phase, uh, dark fringe use m plus half lambda. Ah, that's how. Uh, and then, uh, and then uh, this uh, delta L, this delta L is actually 2nt, uh, 2nt. Okay? Uh, so if the question asks about bright fringe, if the question asks about bright fringe, uh, we use formula 2nt equal to m lambda. If the question asks about dark fringe, the formula is 2nt equal to m plus half lambda. That's how I remember the formula. Okay, so now uh, let's continue. Let's continue with the questions. Uh, white light is incident normal. You see, it's again the white light actually is normal. The light actually comes normally, ninety degree. It's not coming at the slanting angle. We draw slanting because we we just want to make uh, it easier for us to understand. Okay, actually the light is normal, normal ninety degree. In the reflection, fully destructive interference. Okay, this is about dark fringe. Uh, destructive interference about dark fringe. Occurs at this wavelength. Uh, let's put as a lambda. Or oh, we have two wavelengths. Uh. This wavelength and this wavelength. Put this as lambda 1. Okay, dark fringe. Okay, lambda 1. And uh, fully constructive interference. Uh, constructive is what? Constructive is bright fringe. Uh, put as red color lah. Uh, this is bright fringe. Bright fringe happen at this wavelength. Uh, this one is lambda 2. Okay? So we have bright fringe at this wavelength and dark fringe at this wavelength. So find the thickness of the flum. Uh, so the question asks for thickness. That means I want the thickness of the flum. Uh, can you find it? So what is the thickness of this flum? Uh, okay? So continue. Let's continue. What's the thickness of the flum? So what I have done is I draw the diagram to know and I the conclusion I can make both rays both rays got phase change because it's from low higher highest low higher highest uh, means both rays also got phase change both rays got phase change mean become in phase uh, so bright fringe formula is using m lambda dark fringe formula is m plus half lambda so uh, I write down the form uh, the um, the lambda 1, okay, we have lambda 1 and lambda 2. This is a, a lambda, this is lambda 1, this is lambda 2, okay. Wait, wait, which one is lambda 1, which one is lambda? Oh, I put that as lambda 1. Oh, okay, 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 I, um, wrong, yeah. Uh, I put this as, uh, this one is lambda 1, this one is lambda 2, okay. Uh, this one is lambda 1, this one is lambda, I put this is lambda 1, this one as uh, lambda 2, okay. Uh, this one is lambda 1, this one is lambda 2. So now, uh, dark fringe uh, happen at this one, lambda 1. This one is lambda 2, bright fringe. Okay, bright fringe. So, uh, just now I determined is in phase. This is about in phase, case for in phase. In phase, bright fringe use M lambda. So for the lambda 2, just the lambda 2 is about constructive interference, bright fringe. Kan? So bright fringe formula, bright fringe use a formula for in phase. In phase, bright fringe formula use m lambda. Uh, so bright fringe for lambda two is using two nt m lambda, uh, m lambda. And then for the lambda one, yeah, lambda one, which is a uh, dark fringe destructive interference. Dark fringe use m plus half lambda. Uh, that is for lambda one, m plus half lambda. Okay, uh, that's how I do the formula. Create out my own. Okay. Uh, so I got the formula for lambda 1 and lambda 2 already. Lambda 1 is a dark fringe. Uh, dark fringe. Uh, use m plus half lambda. Lambda 2 is a bright fringe. Uh, use m lambda. Uh, that's because this is an in phase case. So and then uh, what order we do we need to put? It is not given. The order we need to find out ourselves. Uh, re reflecting index n. N is a 1.25. Uh, use 1.25. Don't use 1.5. Ah. Uh. Use the thin flum, the middle layer, not the not the last layer. Use the thin flum layer, the middle layer. 
Okay? Always use. Always use middle. Uh, always use middle. Middle layer. So that's the end there. And then uh, thickness. Uh, we, yeah, we want to find the thickness. Both thickness are equal. Uh, okay, the lambda given. Okay, so just a simultaneous equation. Yeah, just simultaneous equation. So for lambda 1, first I do it. Yeah? Lambda 1, uh, 2, n, n is 1.25. And then uh, thickness is what we want to find. And then m, we don't know, not given. Lambda, uh, this is actually lambda 1, this is lambda 2. Yeah. And then uh, this lambda 1 is uh, put 600, uh, change to SI unit, uh, change to SI unit ready. Uh, the nano change to meter. Okay. Uh, and, then, and then here also uh, the same thing. Uh, this one thickness, uh, this one is uh, 2, uh, 1.25. Uh, uh, T equal to M, the lambda 2 is 700, exponent negative 9 uh, meter. Yeah. Yeah, and then uh, actually they are equal. Uh, we can see they are both equal. Uh, this 2 and T, this one also 2 and T, isn't it? Uh, so just equal them. Uh, just equal them. Uh, then we can find M. Uh, we can find M. Uh, so that means I can do M uh, 700 exponent negative 9 equal to uh, M plus half. Uh, 600 exponent negative 9 okay and then from here I can find the order I can find the order which I get uh, from the order which I get what uh, what order did I get yeah uh, what order did I get I get the order equal to 3 uh, I get the order equal to 3 okay uh, so the, I get the order equal to 3, 2 and T, 2 and T, yeah, and yeah, that's right, that's right, yeah, mm, 2 and T, 2 and T, yes, uh, I get the order equal to 3, order equal to 3, so uh, now I get the order already, so what did I do, uh, actually this is uh, equation, this is considered equation 1, this is considered as equation 2, uh, so just use what either or you want to use equation one or you want to use equation two also can just use either one and to get the thickness I uh, I prefer equation one because it's shorter uh, just to take a uh, two nt uh, and then uh, substitute the m again uh, substitute the m again m is equal to three and then seven hundred nanometer negative nine. Okay, uh, you want to use equation 2 also can, but right now I use equation 1. So from there, I can get my thickness. My, get, my thickness is, uh, finally I get equal to, um, uh, which is uh, 8.4, 8.4 exponent, uh, negative 7. Uh, that's it. That's the thickness. Uh, that's the thickness of the, of the flum. Uh, this is the thickness of the uh, what what do they say the what what film is it acetone uh, that's the thickness of the the acetone the acetone code uh, the acetone code the acetone the acetone coating okay so easy uh, so very easy yeah just draw out yeah compare the refractive index low high highest or low high low uh, see whether what which ray got phase change is it one ray got phase change one ray got phase change or both ray got phase change uh, so to see whether an anti phase or in phase and then see the formula so in phase formula is uh, the bright fringe and dark fringe formula and then uh, from there you got the formula for bright fringe and dark fringe uh, and then from there you can work out the thickness okay very easy so let, let's uh, move on to the next question okay